Okay, so I haven't been on here in a couple of days. I've been a little busy. Um, it's my cat, I'm just being a weirdo. So, anyways, um, today's a rest day for me. Um, thank God, because my legs feel like they're slightly broken <laughs> after yesterday. Um, so, just a quick update. Um, I've been staying on track with going to the gym. I've been, um, I went yesterday, the day before we did a five mile walk at Cooper River. So that was, that was good. I'm sorry, I'm getting smacked in the head with my cat's tail. Um, so right now I am just currently working on, um, I have a class I have to take come August to, for school. So I have to, I'm studying for that. Um, I'm getting ready to go to work some t around 3.30 today. Um, I'm just really hanging out at home, watching TV, um, meal prepping my breakfast for the morning because I do have to be up at 6 o'clock tomorrow for work at 7. So I'm making myself some hard-boiled eggs, some turkey bacon, and I'm going to get some wheat bread. So I have some toast, so that's done. I won't have to worry about waking up any earlier than necessary for that. Um, the other day I did make a trip to Muscle Maker Grill. If you've never been there, their food is really, really, really good. Um, I actually have a menu right here. They give you options for meal plans. So if anybody has any interest in looking into that, um, it's actually, the prices aren't that bad for it. Um, and they give you quite a variety to choose from, so it's worth it. Um, my personal favorite from there is the Rocky Bell Bell Wrap. It's sensational. It's very good. Um, turkey meatballs, um, low-fat mozzarella, marinara, and grilled chicken in an herb wrap. It's really, really good. You also get, like, a side. You get, like, vegetables, cucumber salad. You get it to pick from a baked potato, uh, brown rice. Da, 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 da. There's a couple other sides. I can't think of what they are at the top of my head. They have shakes there. They have smoothies. They even have no sugar cheesecake. They have Lenny and Larry's cookies, which are also really, really good. Um, so, yeah, check that out if you have any interest. I go to the one in Defert because it's closest to me. There used to be one in Audubon, but it's not there anymore. So, um, but right now I am currently on my computer setting up while well, working on my event page that me and um, one of my best friends who's basically like a sister to me is working on her son is um, special needs he was born with hydrocephalus so every year in September we do a walk for him at the Philadelphia Zoo um, it's a walk to raise awareness and raise money to help find a cure, hopefully eventually for hydrocephalus, which is um, a condition where you're born with um, an overabundant amount of cerebral spinal fluid on the brain. Um, so at two days old, he had a shunt put in, which takes the fluid from his brain and processes it through the rest of his body. Um, that was at two days old. He just turned two in April. Um, he is going to be having his second brain surgery July 12th, of, so next month. Um, he's having a shunt replacement because the way his head is growing, it is uh, pushing out his shunt and it could cause it to malfunction, which would not be good at all. Um, and it could fun it malfunction and we wouldn't even know it until it was too late. Um, they're also going to do another skull revision on the back of his head because of the way his head is growing. I don't know why I'm using this feather duster as a pointer. Um, the way that his head is growing, that's what's causing the shunt to grow out and will cause a malfunction. So they're going to revise the back of his head, make it rounder. Um, so hopefully he doesn't have to go through this again. Um, he just had another surgery, I think maybe a month or two months ago. He had a um, surgery on his thumbs. His thumbs were like this, so he was unable to use, have full mobility of his thumbs. So they did surgery to loosen all the tendons and add tendons because you have two in every finger. His thumbs only had one. 
So they made it so his he has full mobility of his thumbs now. He had surgery on his eyes to loosen the eye muscles so um, he wouldn't have such a lingering eye and it'll help clear up his vision some. Um, he, he does still have to have glasses. Um, he does have a GI tube. He had that surgery as well a few months back because he does aspirate if he has regular food. So there's that. But besides that, he is one of the smartest kids I've ever met. He's such a happy little boy. Um, so yeah, so I'm working on our event page for that. I'm working on setting up different fundraisers. So if anybody has any ideas of a way to fundraise some money because we try to get as much donations as we can possible. Uh, last year, the walk alone raised $1.9 million. That's a lot of money. Um, apparently, from what I've read this past year, from last year's review, they have been able to work towards finding a cure that works for animals, but we do not have enough funding to test it on people like you and I, humans. So hopefully that's the next goal, and hopefully we can find a cure so... You know, not only Carl, but other people that suffer from his condition can also um, live a normal life. Um, he is enrolled in a medical daycare right now, so he goes there every day. He gets um, all kinds of therapy. He's trying to talk now. He's um, My sister's been working on him with um, standing up on his own. So... Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. Um, I do have work the next couple days, so it's going to be hard for me to get on here and make a video. I know it took me a couple more days, but I did it. Um, but if anybody has any interest and they want to walk with us, I'll post the link below. Um, our team name is Team Brain Drain. If you can't walk, um, feel free to donate. A dollar, five dollars, anything counts. We're grateful for whatever we can get. Um, or if anybody knows any information on where we can get a deal on having t-shirts made, because that's one thing we want to do this year is have an abundance of t-shirts made so we can sell them. Those proceeds will go towards a what we have to put out for the shirts. And then the majority of the money we are going to donate towards the walk. Um, because that's our main concern. You know, our pockets, yes, money back, but it's more important that we raise as much as we can to for hydrocephalus. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm, how I'm spending my day. I work the next three days. Um, my other best friend slash sister's birthday is on Sunday. So... I have a pretty busy, busy weekend coming up, but I'm still going to make time to get up and eat healthy, get to the gym, whether it be just a light walk or, you know, I'm doing some weight training and I have to get it done. So, like I said, I'll post the link for the walk below. If anybody has any interest, feel free to message me on Facebook. Um, feel free to message my sister, Crystal Pello on Facebook, P-E-L-O. -L. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. Um, so I look forward to seeing you guys later. Thanks.